Hi, it's Tess. I'm here to do a small grocery haul. I went to Walmart this morning and two weeks ago I started a paleo diet. Now I'm not strict paleo and there's a couple reasons for that. The first one being that I was gluten and dairy free for over two years and I am still gluten free. Like I can never eat gluten. It makes me so, so sick. But I just recently added dairy back into my diet slowly over a few months and no problems. And I think the reason I was having problems with dairy before was because of the gluten. It was all tied together. So, I am not cutting dairy back out of my diet after <laughs> that big long ordeal. Um, but I'm eating it very minimally. So, there's that. And then the other thing is there may be a few things here and there that end up having sugar added to them. Like bacon which I don't eat very often, but I can't find anything without sugar added. So for right now, I'm going to get the most natural bacon I can find, and if it has a bit of sugar in it, whatever. So it's paleo almost, completely paleo, but not quite paleo, if you know what I mean. Um, and a lot of people do that. They don't quite make it the whole way to paleo, but their diet is no processed things and that type of stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up today. And some people don't eat potatoes on this diet, but I just stay away from white potatoes. I'll eat red, blue, sweet, and gold. So I got gold potatoes. Um, I got a some ham, but I'm going to look into this. It's the Prima Della, and it's gluten-free and MSG-free and stuff, but i got to research this. If it's not something I can eat, my husband will eat that. It's no big deal. I got the strawberry and blueberry mix because I love fruit infused water, especially when I'm working outside. Petite Brussels sprouts. I got so delicious coconut milk for a couple recipes that I need. Um, I also got Dijon mustard so I can make some homemade um, honey mustard dressing. And yes, I am using honey sparingly. Um, Brussels sprouts. These looked really good, so can't wait to try those. Broccoli. We don't eat a lot of broccoli in our house, um, so I just got a little bag of that. Salads for lunch this week. That's why I need the dressing. I got half and half organic. Um, then I got some sweet potatoes to make sweet potatoes like hash browns so I can eat those in the morning. I got some asparagus. Love asparagus. A pack of mushrooms. They go with everything because mushrooms are awesome. I got some strawberries. Bananas. I've been eating a lot of bananas lately. A watermelon. Just a small watermelon. My husband won't eat this. Um, thin sliced chicken breast. This is with no antibiotics, all vegetarian fed diet. Cage free chicken. And I, I've been using these eggs. These are the Great Day All Natural Eggs. They um, are hens fed with all natural diet, no added hormones, no animal byproducts. So there's that. For some reason, the um, Eglin's Best Eggs have been making my stomach hurt. And I don't know if it's what they're feeding them and I'm eating it or what. So I don't buy that anymore. Then I hunted down some tomato sauce that has no added sugar, which is the Hunt's 100% natural tomato sauce. Because the other stuff I bought had sugar. This does not. I got a pack of bacon. This is the Oscar Mayer Selects. It does have sugar, but it does not have nitrates and no preservatives. So Good, pretty good bacon. And then I got two Greek yogurts because as I said, I'm eating dairy very minimally. So sometimes I like these for breakfast. And last but not least, I have to have my orange juice. So I got 100% natural. There's no sugar added because I get kidney stones and orange juice is supposed to help you with that. And I don't know if it is or not, but I kind of like my orange juice in the morning. So I tried to find the the best one I could, <laughs> and that was this. So that is everything I bought this week for myself to eat. I'm going to do some um, sweet potato hash browns with egg muffins for the mornings. I'm going to make that today.
For lunches, if I can eat that ham, I'm going to do ham roll-ups with, that's going to be like the roll-up part, and I'm going to put vegetables inside and some salads. And for dinners, it's probably going to be steak, chicken, um, Brussels sprouts, what else, potatoes, asparagus, that kind of thing. So, yeah, pretty good for the week. Um, I'm on going on week three. I've lost four pounds so far, almost five. It's in the four to five range now. And I'm liking it. It's not that hard. As long as you do the prep work on Sunday for the week, especially if you work, you're good to go. And you have to read those labels, girls and guys. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.